Welcome back. You're watching Southern Diaries. Former CEO and board member of Infosys, Chris Gopalakrishnan, is a leading angel investor in India and also a startup mentor, working closely with the Indian Angel Network to improve the policy framework for angel investments into startups. In fact, I caught up with him earlier this week and had a conversation asking him uh, what is hot with the angel investors in India. Clearly, you know, support creation of this ecosystem for entrepreneurs, ecosystem for startups. Work with um, all other players in the ecosystem about creating a policy that is conducive for startups to happen. And of course, uh, invest in companies. Invest in companies. Probably we would be the first investor in that company. So, I want to understand from you in terms of the portfolio that uh, you know, 350 plus members of uh, Indian Angel Network uh, have invested into, and also in terms of the size of investment currently, how big is it? So, each investment is typically two to three crores, and in each investment, there will be typically about 30, 40. Uh, investors participating. So from each investor, the outgo for an investment is typically 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs. And that's how this uh, network works. Uh, we have about 80 uh, companies in which um, we have invested to date. And uh, that's the portfolio that we have, of which, um, you know, typically what happens is um, about uh, 30, 40 are in the last one year, and hence we expect another 40 investments to happen in the next 12 months. Sure. So I want to understand from you in terms of the entire angel network and angel funding as far as the startup ecosystem is, con uh, uh, you know, uh, is taken into account. We are having a lot of you know, first-gen startup guys who are turning uh, to be investors in other companies. I want to understand from you, you know, how much of giving back is happening currently in the startup ecosystem? Um, that's what is exciting, you know, um, before even they become supremely successful, they're starting to actually support, um, you know, at least mentor, um, sometimes invest in other companies, you know, become part of the angel network. We have many uh, first generation entrepreneurs as part of the angel network. And this makes it very easy for them to participate because, the, as I said, the amount they invest in a company is small. Mm -hmm. Together, you know, 30, 40 investors together, make up the total money. And this is a, a very nice way, very good way to grow the ecosystem. In India today, we have the need to create 10 million jobs every year. I strongly believe that 10 million jobs means we need to create 50,000 new companies, new businesses every single year, at least every single year. And uh, uh, one, we need a lot of angel investment. Two, we need an environment that is conducive for startups. Uh, three, we need an environment where investors, especially angel investors, can come forward and make investments in these companies. And I would venture to say, um, you know, we probably need to look at how we can make it very tax efficient or tax friendly for angel investors to come forward and invest in these companies. For, for um, startups, uh, because this is the first investment, and first investment is the most difficult one. You know, if we can make it easy for that investment to happen, both from the startup side as well as from the investor side, everybody benefits. Typically, the startup, as they grow, will start employing 5, 10, 20 people more. So each startup typically will create at least 20 jobs as they grow. And this is one of the best ways in which we can create employment in the country. There are statistics from World Bank, there are statistics from the US, which clearly say that, you know, in fact, almost 100% of new jobs are created in the first five years of the existence of a company. That means in the first five years of startup is when the maximum number of jobs are created. And in the economy, the, the maximum number of new jobs are created in the first five years of the existence of a company. That means in the first five years of startup is when the maximum number of jobs are created. And in the economy, the, the maximum number of new jobs are created by having a vibrant ecosystem of startups. So also want to get from you uh, the game plan of the investments that Indian Angel Network does. You know, in terms of exits, uh, how do you view your investments? Uh, to date, uh, it has been a very um, good track record. 
uh, about 40 percent of the companies that have got funding from IAN have got subsequent rounds of funding, which is, I think, a pretty good record. In fact, we are internally discussing to see whether we need to take more risk because it, it is uh, probably um, um, too good, actually, in some sense, because um, uh, we, we are enabling them for further rounds of funding. Uh, the returns are also at the upper end of um, typically what VCs would get. Uh, hence, uh, we, we are now thinking whether we need to take more risk and we need to fund more startups. United Spirits Limited posted a healthy growth in profit.